Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Kevin here. And now it's 6.28 p.m. in Singapore time, GMT times plus 8. Today, I'll be revealing an application. It's, a, it's about, we, uh, about a bus, what time it comes and, and, and what, what the next bus is coming. Now, this is called the bus, uh, bus sorry. Um, the application name is called SBS uh, Bus Time. Now it's, it's created by a Chinese guy who ev eventually invented, created the application and it really works. Um, I do not know for some programs, for some phones, I remember get, getting to see on the comments saying that a few of the, few, a few people didn't get the application to get it work on their phone like Omiya 2. Um, mo the most comment I always see is Omiya 2. So mainly Omiya 2 is always a hit for most uh, win, uh, Microsoft win Marketplace uh, programs they had on the Marketplace. So you can get this uh, application at at a Marketplace and I'm running on, I'm running on a window mobile 6.5.2.1 I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check it out later. So yeah. So I'll just slide. Hey. Okay, I'll slide. Oh, enter my code. I'll just get it away. Now the application for this will not work in other countries. Now this application will only work in Singapore. Like if you're, if you're in Singapore, you can check what time the bus is coming. I mean, actually, they, they, they won't tell you what time is coming, but they tell you how many minutes is coming. And you can you can uh, use this use other country, but I, I don't think so. You can use in other country. I do not know. I didn't have the uh, time to fly to other country and try it out. But you can you still can use the application. But the thing is, you do not know the bus in Singapore. Like if you are a tourist, like okay, you, no Singapore has a lot of tourists like. Australians, people, Americans, others, and so on. At uh, so yeah, so when they came to Singapore, when they come to Singapore, they totally need a guide. Uh, this application was not designed to guide them, but it was designed to check what how many minutes the bus are coming. So like, if they're at a bus stop, then they have to check what time the bus is coming, and if they have a window mobile phone. You're lucky, because SBS bus time will save you, and will will we'll tell you how many minutes they're coming. So I already prepared the program. Uh, just a little reminder: this application will run on the internet. So you, yeah, you have to apply on internet. Uh, if you don't apply, it's okay. But if you are, but this program totally use an internet. So if you have HSDPA up and running. Like mine is right now, it's on HSDPA or uh, GPRS, then you're ready to go because this program will run on inter uh, GPRS or HSDPA or any internet that you're running on. I uh, mainly just those two only. And if, we don't, if you don't have an internet, you cannot run this, uh, you cannot run the program. Uh, I think you know what I mean. So, so, like, I prepared a bus number, so it's easy to start. Just go to the start menu, go to start, start the program. And wait up for up, wait for load. Uh, this load uh, is very fast. It's a very light application, so you don't you don't have to wait like how many minutes you have to wait, depending on processors. How many? Um, this is running a MSM seventy two thousand. There's no A behind. It's only a seventy two thousand five hundred twenty eight megahertz processor from Qualcomm. As you can see here, oh, what the heck? My microphone. Uh, now you can oh. okay something wrong with my microphone uh, let's get back to the program you can see here you must, you must type in your number the bus stop number so it's five digit number uh, for most Singaporeans obviously you know what's a five digit number for the bus stop let's type in your, the bus uh, this, it does. Um, type in the five digit number on the bus stop and press go you're ready to see what bus are coming and and what how many minutes left they're coming 
Ooh, 15, uh, 51. That's very long, 19 minutes. I wouldn't want to spend my time sitting on the bus, just waiting for the one bloody bus only. Um, for most Singaporeans, they do not know what's WAB. Now, SBS also has also put a poster note. The is what is SBSAB? Um, it's wheelchair accessible bus. So, so what does it mean? It means that the bus is wheel wheelchair accessible. So that so that uh, like like if you are the person who is sitting on a wheelchair, you are paralyzed because your leg is gone or some other uh, conditions. I do not know, but I don't want to just. I don't know because I'm not a capo. Uh, wh why capo means like capo in Singapore? What they call it is a uh, spy. You don't know like go and see you or like want to know their information and everything. So in Singapore we call it capo. So yeah. So I don't I don't I don't I don't want to be a person who is like always want to know what happened to him blah 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 so and so on. So I don't I'm not a car bastard. I do not I do not want to become like that. So yeah, they even tell you slow traffic expected. Now what does it mean? Um, like 62, they say the first bus is coming at 13 minutes left. At 30 minutes, sorry. Second bus is 21 minutes late. Slow traffic expect. Expected. What it means like, it may it, the bus the bus uh, may come a bit longer than the time shown the minute show here because. Slow traffic is is occurring is happening, and uh, it might slow down the bus, so it, the time may not be accurate at all. So yeah. So this is the review on the. Uh, uh, what the hell is this? Okay, let's check step on this. So this is the application review on the SBS bus time. Uh, this application will only work in Singapore and. Uh, Oh, okay, it's not operating now. 105 is not operating. So, I'll see you guys next time. And this application will only work in Singapore and not other countries. You may you may want to try and give me a video response and tell me does it work or not. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This is Kevin signing off.